Hello viewers, this is your tutor again. And to, today we are looking at our second last video about the overhead apportionment using the secondary methods and the one we are going to be looking at today is elimination method for this one i hope you guys you could be able to understand it very easy but it's one of the complicated scenarios when we are handling the secondary absorption but i've tried to simplify it and could be able to understand. One, we have the steps. These are the hardest parts that make candidates to really panic about how they can approach the elimination method. And when you are using elimination method, you follow these steps, there are two. We follow these steps and there are only two. One is that we found that this, the service department that gives out that gives out the large number or that gives out its costs to large number of departments, other departments. What we mean is that if let's say we have a service department like the way we have a service department here, and this service department is giving out more, if let's say we had like three service departments, and you find that one of these service department for it, it gives out to this, and it gives out the third service department and these other ones. It means for it, it is giving out more than these other, departments so if we if we find that this there is one service department that has or that distributes its overheads to many service sorry to many departments you find you, you we take that one and we distribute that one first then the, there is another scenario whereby they are like two as you, the way you are seeing them here. If they are two, then what we do, what we do with those ones, we just compare which service department gives out the, high, the highest cost to others. In this term, we are talking about the, the, the amount the service department which has the highest overhead is distributed first. Like here, you are seeing that the, the, quality, the quality assurance department is giving out 12 million 400,000, but the marketing department is giving out 16 million. So in this case, if we are using that second step, we, con we consider the one which has the highest cost, which is 16 million, and we distribute that one first. Please, I repeat. We are saying that the service department that has all that will be giving out the largest number of the overhead to other departments, if that service department is giving out to more than what these other service departments are giving, then we start distributing that. And giving out more than it may be in terms of percentage, you may come here and you find that this one is distributing 10. These other ones, they are distributing five. So we start distributing with the one that has the highest percentage. You can term it in the percentage. You may find that this one, yes, it is the one this having the highest percentage in terms of distributing to the others. If you compare what this department is giving and what other, if let's say there were three service department and they were supposed to give out to 
all of these ones. You find that this one is, is let's say this one is giving 50 and this one is giving 20 and the other one is giving five. You may, when you add the other two, you will find that they, for them, they are just giving out 20% 20, 20 or 25, but this one is giving out the whole of it. Like let's say if it was giving out 50 or 30, it means that this one is giving out more percentage of its cost to others. That is the first scenario. If you find that it's not like that, then we take the, the service department that gives out a highest cost. In this term, it will be the 16 million. When, to, when it is the one giving out the highest cost to others, we take that one and we distribute it first. Those are the two steps how we determine which one is supposed to be distributed first. Then the second scenario is that when we distribute, when that department which has, let's say the highest cost distributes out its overhead to the other departments, we, when, we are when we are redistributing, we don't distribute it again. We distribute it once. And if we are done with that department, we don't redistribute to that department again. That's why it is called elimination. It's like we are eliminating that department which has already given out its overheads. It is called elimination or stepped or step distribution. It is called a step distribution because there is, we first go by giving out to all the departments and at the end of the day, we stop to we stop after distributing the first service department cost and we distribute to others without allowing the second inter-service department i hope you get that i know you may be a bit confused with the explanation but we are going to do it and we see how it goes it is very easy but it becomes very complicated when, when, let's say, the service departments are more than if, let's say, they are four. But on this level, I'm sure if they have given you more than, they can just give you like three and they can't exceed there. They, they, like this service department, they may go up to three and they give you three service department. But as for now, as since we're just starting, let's concentrate on this. We know how to do, what to do, and we shall be able to reach that point where we have so many service departments with different contributions. So we can go to the question. The question we said we are going to be using the same question, like the one we've been using. It's question six, March 2021. Hope you've been able to write it down but we can go through it together and we say that designers world limited specializes in production of world class garments for sale to all age groups in uganda dwl's main product is vintage which are popular amongst the youth and the elderly DWL has three production departments, namely the machining, cutting, and finishing departments, and the two service departments, namely the quality assurance and the maintenance, oh, sorry, the marketing department. During the year, during the year ended 31st December 2020, DWL incurred the following overhead overheads in production and sale of the change throughout the year. We have the production department. These are the departments. We have the service departments. These are the ones and the costs, the overheads we incurred. They are saying that a technical assessment could conducted at the year end revealed that service department, department overheads were consumed by other departments in the following proportions. So we have the machining, we have the quality assurance, 
the quarter sure is giving machining 30 20 to cutting 40 to finishing and it doesn't give to itself so it gives out to its fellow service department and it gives it 10 that's marketing then marketing distributes 20 to mach machining 25 to cutting 50 to finishing and five to quality assurance but it doesn't give to itself so the required we said we are going to be using one question and we do the rest so the last one is going to be looking at how we can use the simultaneous equation and we try to find the secondary apportionment of those overheads so we go to the eliminate elimination here we can change it a bit we say elimination it is called step elimination elimination method so those are the one was these are the costs they gave us this is what they gave us in the question and we said that we can we can either start by distributing the one that gives out a highest percentage to the other or we go by the one which has a highest cost and distributes its cost to other departments including its fellow service department and when we are done with that we don't redistribute again to the to the service department that has given out so we get the workings these are going to be our workings i can put it here workings say working one these are going to be our bases yeah, the ones we are looking at we are looking at the quality assurance quality assurance then we have the marketing marketing department so we can try to enlarge this when we enlarge that let me remove this one here to put it here these are bases so we know that from here we know that this quality assurance was giving 30 to machining 20 and 40 to other fellow departments so it is 30 this one is getting 30 sorry These ones were bases. So here it was giving out, these are supposed to be our totals. Then it, here it is giving out 30. Oh, sorry. This is giving out 30 and to this one is giving 20 and 40 this one is 20 then the other one is 40 and it doesn't give itself so sorry 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 it's supposed to be here 30 20 40 it doesn't give to itself so it's a zero then 10.
and delete this. Then the survey, the marketing department is giving out 20, 25, and 50. It is 20, 25, 50, and five, then it doesn't give out to itself. So this one will be a zero. I hope I'm not I'm not going to go the other way. The other way I was getting the proportions. I hope now you can be able to, to get to that. Then here we, we said the one which gives out, first of all, we first co co compare what gives out the highest. This is giving, is giving out the highest percentage, which is 10%. Since it is giving out the highest percentage, we shall take this. And the other scenario we can compare about, you just choose any of them so long as it is applicable. Any of the two scenario, if it is, if the service departments are many, are more than two, we, we use the percentages, what, what total is distributed to others. But if there are two, you just compare the highest, the, the service department that gives out the highest cost, and it is going to be this. But if there are more than two, of course, from there you can't compare. You may find that you are not, you are not it's hard for you to compare, then you look for the percentages. We have two scenarios. So we are going to be to begin with our marketing department. Hope you've seen our marketing department and, and the, the ratios are 20 to, to 25 to to 50 then to to 5 sorry 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 i've taken this and i was supposed to take this because it is this one Okay, well, let's first check. It is marketing department, it is service quality assurance that gives out a highest. Percentage. Quality assurance gives out a highest percentage, but here we said we take the one which has the highest cost We distribute the one that is giving out a highest cost which was going to be marketing. Sorry for that. It's marketing. Then the last one was given 50 to then five. Marketing department, there is missing. So it's marketing department that we are going to issue to first exhaust first before we go to the others. So it is 16 million. On it is one zero, yeah. Supposed to put closing bracket. Yeah, so it's going to be that, which is going to be giving out the highest so it will be this to get what will be for machining department it will be 20 then we get we get also the total we can get the total here because sign sum it is this sorry sorry It 
is equal sign sum. We are summing up from here to the last one. And we close the brackets. Then we press enter. So it's giving us a hundred. Even here, you can just put a hundred. But remember, here we said when we distribute this, we are no longer going to distribute the last. The last one. If marketing department gives out its its component to this, then when we are distributing the quality assurance, we don't the quality assurance will not be giving to the marketing. So this one will not be there. Hope you are getting why. That one will not be there. So it will mean that this one they will just distribute the, they will just distribute direct to whatever to this production department because they are just two. If there were three, then we could be remaining with we, this one could be giving the other two, but not giving this one. I hope you I hope you guys you can pick this from here. there press enter and to be nine meaning we've given out the other the other we've, we've eliminated what this quality assurance is giving to this hope you guys you can get it very clearly is equal sign this so we are distributing this divide by this then multiply we multiply that one by this cost we are distributing it will be that so when we've got that then it means we are going to be getting this one this one will be the same as equal sign this divide by this, then we multiply by this. Cosine that will be this 50 divided by this, then we multiply by this. Then it will give to will give to its fellow service department. This enter to give it that. So what happens is that when you now we are distributing the quality assurance, we don't distribute to the marketing. We only consider what, we, what this is giving out to these other departments. So it will come to be the quality assurance, quality assurance, which will be in terms of the 30 to, to 20 to 40. That will be that. Then we try to get what is supposed to be in the machining department. It will be this, divide by this. Then we multiply by the total cost. Now the total cost, it will be this plus this. So we can try to first get the total cost before we, we reach there. We can try to first get the total. And first try to get the total to be this plus this. 
it is this. It means that that's what we are going to be distributing and we shall put that one in the bracket. We say it is one, three, two, zero, zero, triple zeros. When we put it across the bracket, we say now we are distributing that. So if you are distributing that, it means and try to put this figure the outside here. It is 13, 2, 0, 0. And we remove it from here. So we, had, we said we are distributing to be equal sign this. Remember, we are distributing the quarter assurance. It is this divided by this. We multiply it by our total. We've got Let's enter and we can also get for this one, it will be cosine of this, which is 20 divided by 90. We multiply by this. Then the last one will be cosine of this, divide by 40, 90, multiply by the amount we are distributing. So when you add this plus this plus this, you must be getting this. But this one gets C, zero. And that's all and we are done. So we get, we get these totals and get the totals from here, a cosine sum. The summing from here to there. Said we are putting that one just to confirm, to act as our proof. Photos. We said we start with this cosine sum. summing from up, we include even what was already allocated and we go by this side. So when we are done with that, we said we get a proof from, we get our proof, this is proof, but when you are in an exam, you don't put this word proof, you just add up and you go. adding this to that. So it must be giving you the same answer that like the one up. So that's how we get that. Maybe we can try to make these ones, we put some borders. Sorry, stop here. Put in some borders so that it looks a bit we say that this is not empty, we have a zero and a zero here. We said the other 10, we don't include it. It's eliminated. So that's how we handle that. I hope you guys have mastered that and you can proceed to the last one in the next video, which was simultaneous equation. And we see how we do that. Then we wind up the overheads by doing the absorptions and we go to the next chapter.
Thank you for watching. God bless you.